everything you'll need where you could do like live sound effects you could you know add, add the the vocal compression and all that and and make it polished so because like when you come on this app you're going to be competing with people that are really taking it seriously because they want to get a piece of the pie from the creator fund they want to get featured on the spotify app as like check out this podcast so it's going to be like a race to the top a lot of people are going to be trying to make really good content whereas you know sometimes on clubhouse it felt like a race to the bottom with a lot of the things people would do there so yeah basically produce a show like that i think i haven't run any rooms yet on clubhouse like uh, mostly what i do is hang out in rooms and like just make friendships there but i think when i really focus on doing a show i'm just going to do a podcast and do it here and produce it and like plan the guest have a very small stage kind of like a call in radio show have an interviewer a co-host a guest maybe two guests so it's four people on stage and then bring up a uh, one person ask a question send them back to the to the audience bring up someone else ask a question and if they're really interesting keep them on stage and have a conversation i i think that's what it's going to take to succeed and the people that want to just kind of be like more community and have fun and be social I still think Clubhouse is going to be the the best place for that kind of environment. Um th- those are my thoughts right now, but it's still early so Every, it remains Yeah. Yeah, um, Chris, one one second everyone. Um everyone, if you can jam up everyone, uh we have approached 5 minutes, so make sure you're jamming up everyone, make sure you're following everyone as well. Um let's all support each other. Um Chris, please continue. Yeah, no, I'm done. Thank you, man. Appreciate. Yeah, I, I was just going to ask you what Chris said. Club Deck that is working on Club Deck app that is working on Clubhouse right now is very likely to be working on a green room in a not too distant future if it that if it is at all possible because Tyler Crowley is talking to them about that and uh, so that that would be a suggestion if you're going to run things seriously and uh, there are a few other things that. I agree with Chris about that the syndication that Spotify can handle and uh, that we are on here extremely early like yesterday was less than 100,000 people that had signed up for an account here you can get distribution if you have amazing material in ways that it that will likely be amazing the other thing is that like Chris said if you have a backbone of great material then you can have that on like podcast style you can have it uh, on youtube etc cetera, etc cetera, to but then running ask me anything or q and a things on here where you download the audio file and then cut it up with the specific questions then you would create massive more amounts of 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 material content however the the leverage you will get out of that will also depend on how big of interest what the questions are about and the quality of the answers and what assistance you can give this is peter and those are my thoughts this is jackie and you know chris you were speaking about the fact that you know this app could lean more towards more produced types of content and shows and i you know what really does excite me about it exactly what you had to say is that my entire my broadcasting career started for 20 years in radio and so not only in you know working on radio but i was a program director and working in programming so for me i'm just like absolutely all the i've always said you know radio for those of us who get into radio it, it always stays in your blood no matter what you do and i've got my my roadcaster i've got my mic setups i've got all the different things ready to go and my husband laughed because when i got onto clubhouse a couple months ago and i and i got everything set up he's like my goodness because it's like it's like you got a radio station in here and i go and that's we have to have the right equipment and so it's just for me i started thinking about it exactly in those terms of what exactly can i produce not only whether it's for myself or doing that 
because I loved being on air and I loved doing interviewing, interviewing and shows and morning shows and things like that. But I really loved developing talent at the same time. So it's like I was already thinking of several people. I'm like, oh, my goodness, they would be great for a show or this person would be great for that content. So, yeah, I've been thinking in terms of that as well. But just the whole idea of the fact that you're going to be able to get this, you know, great quality audio directly from them is just such an immense help right out of the gate to really get so many people started if they aren't already podcasting. So, I mean, that's just been right there. It's already fabulous. So this is Jackie. I'm done speaking. Hey, Jackie, this is Karen speaking. So nice to hear your voice. I would say that for me, I think this app Man, the possibilities are just incredible. I've said that all night long. That it's just totally incredible. And the reason why I say that is because you have there's it's endless. Now you can go all kinds of directions because it's public. You know, Clubhouse I always felt like a caged bird. I never felt like I could really fly in the app the way I wanted to. But now here, I can do so much in so many different directions. And you can bring your guest right here with you. There's no friction. And that is why I think this is going to be incredible for anybody who sits down and really think out what they want to do and how they want to do it. It's going to be an incredible opportunity because there is no friction. There's no, oh, you got to get an invite first or, oh, wait, there's nothing in between you and getting some of the top people to interview because here's the other part of it. Because of the sweetness of Clubhouse, you've met extraordinary people that you could interview, you could bring onto your actual podcast. You can, I mean, it's just incredible. So I think Clubhouse has been helpful in terms of like finding your talent that you want to interview or you want to help get a show like you, Jackie. But at the same time, I mean, we've gotten all the people you need on Clubhouse. You, they're right there. You can ask Tim's story. Hey, Tim's story, can I interview? Right in the middle of something that he's on the, on the, on Clubhouse, right? And you can you know, ask them right there and then come over here and create that whole experience and then now make it into a podcast and make it a visual podcast in my case. I just feel like this is like an endless opportunity. And then you can put all your merchandise, a click of a link. You can be interviewing someone. They can click in the chat. You have someone they could, you know, help you and they put in the chat, you know, here's the merchandise. Here's a course. Here's a whatever it is you want to present. And people can get it right away with no friction. Can I also just tell you, some guys? Oh. I've already got an idea for you for a show too, Miss Karen. Okay, I'm done. This is Jackie's. Wait, can, 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 um, you, can you tell us so that we could steal it? Thank you, Anthony. <laughs> you're not going to be the person I'm going to tell. Anthony, you are hilarious. <laughs> I love that, it. Is the chat broken? Yeah, uh, yeah, the working. chat because well. The, I can't, you I might can't need to do airplane chat. mode. So if the chat is lagging, there's a hack called air that you do with airplane mode. So you go on your airplane mode, you toggle it on for like one to two seconds and then toggle it off. And then the app will reappear and it'll like kind of do a reset on the whole app. So even if... Will it kick me out of the room, on, Kylie? No, it will not. It will not. Just do it for one to two seconds. Like toggle it on, one, two, toggle it off. I've done it like... 80 times already <laughs> can, can can everyone just check out Kimmy's feet and give us some more gems please uh, yeah I, I I'll wait I'm, I'll wait I guys I need I more gems Kimmy I just gemmed you up I think you're gem worthy uh, I think you're just a gem in general and your feet are gems um, can you please uh, send more thank can I can I add something uh, uh, Kylie do Absolutely not. Uh, this this platform is only for listening. I'm just joking. I'm just no, okay. Uh, thanks, thanks. Uh, I think it was Chris, right? Uh, anyhow, uh, based on uh, submit initial comment, I think you're spot on. I mean, uh, in terms of the analogy of the uh, gold mining and uh, and uh, the shovels, all right? I, in my but in my opinion, I think you can actually connect the two, and this also. Uh, goes back to the different uh, uh, podcast, let's say topics and or podcast creator, etc. I, 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 I highly believe uh, my, my business is uh, data driven marketing. Uh, and, and what we do is actually analyze different, uh, currently analyze different creator spaces, let's call it, to gather uh, intel, okay, to see what's trending what uh, what's important uh, to the audience? Yeah, granted, I want to provide my clients. I want them to have them go and be free and do what they want. 
but we actually have an audience to think about. So you know, going practically and actually giving you kind of my uh, mindset and more importantly, actionable uh, points. First of all, we have to see what ha what for the past six months, what worked within locker room and to see where we can fit within that space. That's number one. And number two, and I think uh, very important, is uh, this is going to be tied to, so obviously somehow to Spotify within the next 30 to 60 days, I believe. Okay, whether it's with ads, whether it's with some kind of a, a direct channel. So we have to, uh, they're, they're going to gather data, obviously, from each of, our, each of the rooms, each of the content creators that are on here. But I, I can do the same thing for Spotify, obviously, for, you know, uh, plain Jane data and, and analyze, visualize and see uh, on a weekly basis what's exactly uh you know, consumed, and more importantly, succeeding uh, within the platform. And then we can actually fit ourselves to what's actually working. So th then again, so this, so this is again, the, on one hand, you're getting data, and you can make that available as a, I call it, not a SAS, but a DAS, data as a service type of uh, model. And on the second hand, you know, for our clients, which are creators, we can let them know, okay, you're in the, let's say you're an artist. This is what's working for artists right now based on real-time data and, and, and therefore, uh, that, that, you know, to guide them along, okay, both from a historical perspective and a current perspective and going forward. And, and trend, you know, basically on a weekly, monthly basis so we can see the, the trends. And, uh, yeah, the trend and uh, looking forward to your feedback.